Well, as solid as this steel is, this boiler actually expands and contracts. Today we're on the boiling point. We're going to talk a little bit about how we prevent this boiler from pulling itself apart. Well, welcome to the boiling point. Back with Michael Taylor, the brainchild of Ware and the main technical man of, of Ware. So we're back with him this week. Excited to have him. Actually, you're seeing a 650 horsepower uh, rental boiler before it actually gets into a trailer that we've got right here. And as uh, Michael and I were back here talking, I noticed something on the legs and I wanted to talk a little bit about a boiler and how it grows. So let's start here first, all right, and talk about the legs, Michael, and how this boiler is, is set up. Well, the way this boiler is constructed, the, the front legs on the boiler are solid welded to the boiler shell and to the frame. Okay. And so what caught my eye as we were talking was these bolts here. And I actually asked Michael in this situation, I said, now, Michael, what, what are the bolts used for? It's used for expansion and contraction. I mean, as the boiler heats up, the shell is going to grow, get longer, where the frame doesn't because it's not being heated. So you have to have a, a place for that expansion to take up. Now why, why then from the front that those don't have bolts on? What, what's because that? you just make it grow one direction. Okay, okay. So you have a solid one at the front and then you have, this has a plate at the top and bottom here where they're just sitting on top of one another so it can move. Okay. And, but as long as you loosen the bolts up. So as this, this is shipped, tight? Tight. And right. then when you get on the job site, then they loosen when it's, them up. When it's installed, then yeah, the, these bolts need to be loosened up so that they can move. Okay, so I'm imagining this thing not growing a lot. How much growth is in this, in this boiler when it grows? Well, you know, a piece of pipe 100 feet long will grow two inches. Well, this is a lot shorter than that, so it may grow a quarter of an inch. Okay. But a quarter of an inch, if that's solid and it's bending that shell back and forth, just think of a, of a Coke can, you bend the tab back and forth, how many times before it breaks? Mm -hmm. Well, this thing, if it heats up and cools off every day, it's bending it back and forth. Eventually, it's gonna break the shell. Okay, all right, and, and it'll actually break right at the shell of the weld right there as those going. Right, right, we're uh, welded to the shell. Now, I noticed that it, all boilers don't have this. No. Okay, so what, what makes this boiler unique in that it actually has that? Because this, is, this boiler is real short because we put it inside a trailer. Okay. So the legs are real short. There's no give there. It's, it's too solid. A typical boiler, the legs are going to be much longer, so you have give built into the leg itself. Okay. So it won't be so solid. It'll give rather than the shell. Okay. Well, I appreciate Michael stopping by with us to talk a little bit about that. Uh, really was uh, just fascinating to me. I thought we'd share it with you just to think about steel growing. So we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point. I well, appreciate Mike stopping by today on The Boiling Point. This is the new home for that 650 horsepower mobile boiler room. And although it looks like a lot of space, it will be crammed in here soon and bringing steam somewhere in the United States. Well, make sure you like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you don't mind, please share our videos. We'll see you next time on the boiling point.